So what about those people that need a full mouth of extractions? They've got mm -hmm. severe gum disease, the bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, extractions and implants. Like what are their options in your practice if they're trying to avoid dentures? when it comes to dental implants? Great question. So when somebody needs to have their teeth removed and we want to go over their options with you, the basic option is to remove the teeth, place a couple of dental implants on the bottom. Sometimes we do four for a little more stability, but at the end that still just gives them a denture. It's just something that's removable, snaps in, snaps okay. out. Uh, another level above that is giving, us, giving them something that's permanent teeth, where we can place the implants at the same time that we remove the teeth. They get a brand new set of teeth that day, they go home with that set of teeth. Really, how soon can they eat if everything they, works out? They eat that night. We give them a little bit of an altered diet, but they can eat right away. And then now as far as the roof of the mouth, uh, you say they're, unlike a denture, it's not covered anymore. That's plastic. correct. So because the teeth are fixed and they're permanent in there, they're, they're permanent temporaries that day, we don't have to cover all the roof of their mouth like a denture does. That's one of the, the biggest benefits to that. So do you believe also, you know, I've had your partner on the program, no more dentures? Like, no. is that the future, no more dentures? The future is no more dentures. With technology and with the dental implants that we have today and the, the CAD CAM technology we have, we don't need to do it. Now, you're both prosthodontists. Yes. Uh, why a prosthodontist? Because you guys, I, I mean, I guess general, we should mention general dentists, oral surgeons, periodontists send you their difficult cases. We do, we see a lot of patients of all different types, but we see the hardest. So we see the people that no one else really knows how to treat or doesn't want to treat. And sometimes there are many options that they've not been made aware of in other offices. And so we try to treat them that way. Okay, so, and you also have this concept of, you do everything under one roof. We do. Yeah, we have, typically it's done in a couple different places. Correct. So a, a standard dental office, you can uh, go and see your dentist and oftentimes there's procedures that they don't do. And so they will send you off to a specialist for whatever particular treatment needs to be done. We do all that in one, one roof. So we have multiple specialists.